the Yarkovsky effect. The effect of sunlight on the asteroid orbits. Yes, I am talking about here asteroid and effect of sunlight on asteroids. On asteroids means what? Effect of sunlight in the prediction of the orbit of asteroid. So you might be wondering just by hearing that effect of sunlight. This is a very small effect, no doubt. But if you take into account this effect of sunlight on the dynamics of asteroids for millions of years, yes, I am talking about astronomical time scale, millions of years, then you can see a drastic change. There is a chance that you can see a drastic change in the dynamics of asteroids. And that way only you can predict whether an asteroid in future will collide with Earth, means our Earth or not. Whether that asteroid in future will collide with our planet or not, that depends on this effect. So though this effect is very small, if you consider a small time scale, yes, no doubt this effect is very small for small time scale, but for large time scale, as large as millions of years, means I am talking about astronomical time scales. In that case, that effect of sunlight cannot be ignored at all. So you know that asteroids are minor planets. Actually, they are not true planets. They are not actually true planets. Again, they are not comets. They cannot be considered as comets. And asteroids rotate around the sun, just like planets. Okay. There are so many astro asteroids in our solar system. But in future, uh, there is a chance that any asteroid may come toward Earth and hit the Earth. And you know that though the size of the uh, asteroids, sizes of these asteroids are very small as compared to the sizes of uh, planets or our natural satellites like moon. Still, uh, there may be a case of great destruction if it collides with Earth because whenever they will approach toward Earth, that would approach toward Earth with great velocity. And due to having great velocity, the momentum, linear momentum as well as the kinetic energy of the asteroid would be very high. And due to that impact, there may be a great uh, destruction to our planet Earth. That's why this effect is very important. So how this sunlight acts on asteroid, that is the matter of discussion here in this video. How this sunlight? So, uh, Yarkovsky effect, the name of the effect is Yarkovsky effect, actually one uh, Russian engineer, the uh, name of his is Ivan uh, Yarkovsky. Okay, in the early 20th century, he proposed this theory. Okay, say an asteroid is rotating around the sun. So, the face which is facing uh, the side of the asteroid which is facing the sun is being heated up and the other side is not being heated, heated up but eventually the asteroid is rotating or if you talk about uh, day and night so in the night what will happen in the daytime the surface of the asteroid is being heated up and in the night that heat will be emitted to the space Normally, this emission is infrared radiation. So, whenever this infrared radiation is leaving the surface of the earth, they exert a small amount of push to the asteroid. Yes, no doubt, this amount of push is very little, means amount of thrust produced by the infrared radiation when it is leaving the surface of the asteroid. Okay, so that push that push, there is one, that means that is a kind of force and the rotation of the asteroid. 
Now if you take into account the rotation of the asteroid as well as this amount of force on the asteroid surface, then you can calculate the trajectory of the asteroid precisely. But you have to take into account a very long time scale, not small. If you take very small time scale, then in that case actually there will be no effect of that uh, um, small push on the surface of the asteroid by the uh, radiation of the infrared rays. So whatever is being, uh, whatever is happening here, it is due to the sunlight. Because there is a variation of sunlight incident on the surface of the asteroid. If you consider day and night, if you consider rotation of the sunlight, uh, rotation of the asteroid, in all these cases, the surface of the asteroid, sometimes it is being heated up, sometimes uh, there is a decrease in the temperature. Okay. Sometimes increase in temperature is there, sometimes decrease in temperature is there. So decrease in temperature, that means what? That means in that case it is radiating heat to the space. And that's why there is a small push on the surface of the asteroid. So this combined effect of the rotation of the asteroid itself and this small push together contribute to change in the trajectory of the asteroid if you calculate everything over large time scales, as large as millions of years means astronomical time scales. Okay, so this effect is known as this effect of sunlight on the surface of the asteroid. This effect is known as Yarkovsky effect. Okay, this is a fascinating topic though this is a lesser known topic because this is used only in case of this type of calculation. Change of trajectory for millions of years. Similarly, you can apply the same effect on our uh, artificial satellites also. But uh, what is the lifespan of artificial satellites? 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, like that. So, for these small time scales, there is no need to take into account this Yarkovsky effect. Because uh, artificial satellites also are being heated up. Though they are uh, rotating around the earth, not around the sun, okay, still the surface of the uh, artificial satellites are being heated up by sun rays, means sunlight. So there is also uh, the effect of, uh, there is also what is present, Yarkovsky effect. But there is no need to consider that effect because time scale involved in this case is very small. So there is almost no change in the trajectory of the uh, artificial satellites. Okay, but for large time scales, this is very, very, very important. Otherwise, if you neglect this effect, then there will be, uh, there means in that case, there is a chance that uh, you will miss out the miss out on the correct calculation of collision uh, with earth okay if you miss out that effect there is a chance in uh, there is a chance in the correct calculation of the trajectory of those asteroids anyway so this was all about uh, today's topic Yarkovsky effect Okay, so this effect is negligible for small time scales, but it is not negligible for large time scales. Okay, so this is the end of this video. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.